uh, upon ourselves, but the, on the uh, memory of all those people who have lost their lives, atomic bombing, and also uh, all the wars. And so but the, and so the, it's uh, the 75th year those... means also the end of the war too, for 45 years, uh, 1945. And so, so all those thinking together will be the, doing that prayer. And so I hope um, you'll be ready and you can uh, please join me in a uh, meditation. So I'm not going to say any words, but I will just ring the bell. And as I ring the bell, uh, you can reflect, thinking of the, those gone who before us and uh, one who lost their lives by the uh, atomic bomb. And so let me read a little prayer to begin with. On the occasion of the 75th anniversary of Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bombings, we, the New York community, would like to express our sympathy towards the people of Hiroshima and Nagasaki who lost their lives, loved ones, and had to go through tremendous pains and suffering physically and spiritually because of the atomic bombs. We would like to offer our prayers to heal their womb and to make efforts to prevent the use of nuclear weapons and to eliminate all the nuclear weapons which are great threat to our planet. Do not kill and do not let others kill. Love your neighbors, treat others as you treat as yourself are the common principles in various religions and morality that we human beings share. We all need to treat each other with love and compassion, free from harming each other. It is time for us to nurture kindness, love, and compassion so that we live peacefully without even the need for any weapons to harm others. Let us learn the lessons from the Hiroshima and Nagasaki and go for a world peace without the nuclear weapons. Let us transform our suffering and sorrows into peace, happiness, and harmony. This will be followed by interfaith prayers. I'm Chloe Breyer, a director at the Is Interfaith Center of New York. Eternal God, in whose oh, perfect kingdom no sword is drawn, but the sword of righteousness. Eternal God, no strength is known, but the strength of love. Amen. Ewa. My name is Venable Bhikkhu Bodhi, and I am at the Buddhist Association of the United States. I offer this prayer that the world may recognize the foolishness and the danger of resorting to nuclear weapons and that all countries may rapidly embark on a path of complete but we can't watch it but it is running of nuclear weapons show you the page so you can watch it i am rabbi joseph executive vice president of the new york board of rabbis three hebrew letters you can form two other words one is Lohain, that means to fight. Oh, yeah. The other is Holain, that means to dream. 
A Tragically, in this world, there are some people who have to fight for a piece of bread. Words. There are others who, who sadly only dream to fight. Oh, yeah. The others who have learned, have learned about the horror of the past, a Tragically, in this world, there are some people who have to fight for a piece of bread. They will continue. There are others who have sadly only dream to fight. The others who have learned about the horror of the past, a Tragically, in this world, there are some people who have to fight for a piece of bread. They will continue. There are others who have learned about the horror of the past, a Tragically, in this world, there are some people who have to fight for a piece of bread. They will continue. There are others who have learned about the horror of the past, a Tragically, in this world, If, if you put the link in the chat, maybe I can just connect. I'll, I'll send it to you that link right now. Just I think after it, it's going to be finished. If, if you put the link in the chat, maybe I can just connect. Oh, okay. Hello, my name is Audrey Kitagawa. I'm the Chair of the Parliament of the World's Religions. May all beings be happy, may all beings be peaceful, and may all beings be blissful. Om, peace, peace, peace. Hewa, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hi, my name is Min Yu from New York. Namo Phato, Namo Tamo, Namo Sen Chie. Qi Yuan San Bao Jia Bei. Shi Jie He Ping. Zhan Zhen Yong Xi. Shi Hui Xiang He. Lai Ming An Le. This is Freeman Su from Ciji Foundation USA Northeast Region. We will give the blessing to the 75th anniversary of atomic bombing. May all people's heart be purified and may the world be free of a disaster. Hey Wa, Army of all. I salute you from South America. I am Reverend Susanna Bastarica, the founder organizer of the Vigil for Peace and Ecology. We intend that we are guided, guarded, and protected at all times. We intend that all of our thoughts, words, and deeds serve the highest and greatest goods for all humanity, as well as the highest and greatest goods for the whole universe. We align, so it is, and so it always will be. In peace, my greetings, my love, for the nation of Hiroshima, for the world, in peace, amen. My love goes to you. This is Bawa Jain. I am the Secretary General of the World Council of Religious Leaders, the Founder President of the Center for Responsible Leadership. Om Namo Arihantanam Namo Siddhanam Namo Ayriyanam Namo Vajayanam Namo Loe Sava Sahu Nam Bawa Jain. Eso Panchan Sikrikaro Sava Pawa Panasano Mangla Nancha Sava Sain Sikrikaro Sava Pawa Panasano Eva Om Shantanam Namo Ay Ranam Namo Vajayan. Greeting from New York. My name is Pico Konda. I am a Cambodian monk. We are born of what you can
Hello, my name is Ken Cassell, Zen Master Jokum from the Quantum School of Zen. Chi jung bo sal 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 chi peace. My name is Dorothy Walsh. I'm a peace chaplain from the Peace Abbey in Sherborne, Massachusetts. The prayer is from the World Day of Peace, October 27th, 1986, from the Peace Abbey in Sherborne, Massachusetts. Though the, the people living the across the ocean surrounding us, I believe, October are all 20th. our brothers and sisters. Why are there constant Dolby troubles in this world? Boy, Why do boy. winds and waves rise in the ocean surrounding us? I only earnestly Sherborne, wish that the wind will the soon puff away the day of all the clouds October which are hanging over the tops of the, the mountains. Ocean. Hey, we are living across the ocean surrounding us. I believe now our all days. our brothers. I am Venerable Clint from the Dhammakaya International Meditation Center hey, in New Jersey. The ocean Each of us I are like a candle. Alone, we cannot shine very brightly. Clint from but the together, International Meditation we can be a beacon of light. And we can share this light of peace like a candle with the world. Alone, we cannot shine hey, very brightly. Clint. Peace. From but together, International Meditation we can be a beacon of light. And we can share this light of peace. Buddhist minister, please bow our heads and join me in gesture. Put the hands together. Wherever the Buddha travels, there is no place. Okay. International Meditation we can be a beacon of light. And we can Peace share this harmony reign throughout the land. with the world. Alone, the land is we cannot shine. And the people we can be a beacon of light. So there is no need to share this soldiers and weapons with the world. The center is on the soldier of immeasurable value. We can be a beacon of light. So there is no need to share this soldiers and weapons with the world. Namo Amida Buddha. Namaste, dear friends in Hiroshima. Blessing to all. I am chanting Hindu Vedic prayers for healing during 75th anniversary of the atomic bomb in Hiroshima. Blessing to all. I am chanting Hindu Vedic prayers for healing during 75th anniversary of the atomic bomb in Hiroshima. Blessing to all. I am chanting Hindu Vedic prayers for healing during 75th anniversary of the atomic bomb in Hiroshima. My name is Toyon Park from One Buddhism of Manhattan. Bobshin Chong Jung Bung Mu Wei Ade Kwe Gang Yuk Bu Yo Te Wa Wan Ki Song Il Da Sa Mok Ji Ja So Mi Hewa Peace Pyongwa. This is Eric Shoke Manigian from the Buddhist Action Coalition with the Peace. Verse of Atonement. All evil karma ever committed by me, since of old, on account of my beginningless greed, anger, and ignorance, born of my body, mouth, and thought, now I atone for it all. Born of my body. Ewa. Peace. This is Imam Muhammad Shahidullah, the president of Interfaith Center of USA. I am offering a prayer for peace from Islamic tradition. This is Imam Muhammad Shahidullah. A'uzu billahi minash shaitani rajeem. Bismillahi Rahman Rahim Maliki Thanks, Amin. My name is Lui Fa. I'm the Chinese Buddhist monk from Chinese Buddhist community in New York. I am the vice president of 
Buddhist uh, Council of New York. So, Susanna Maycomb. I am the director of global outreach and interworship for World Awake. This is to the survivors and the descendants of the survivors of the nuclear bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and to all the people of Japan. And the descendants of prayers and the survivors of the nuclear bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and to all the of Japan. And the and the of prayers and the survivors of the nuclear bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and to all the may your wounds be dissolved in an ocean of love. May such horrors never happen again. May your wounds be dissolved in an ocean of peace. Tashidele konnichiwa. My name is Gishi Tashi Durji. I'm a Buddhist mom. Lord Dinjitam and Wendo, New Angi Sakri, Hiroshima and Nando, Barze Woto, Seso Shabanam Chedo, Don't say Yangeda, Jitin, Women Should You. Melam Java did a trade with Taye, Dora, Gula, Penje, Jim Kundo, Sambo, Yimbe, Shundo, Nyasan Juna, Mali, Tombara, Show, Melam Java did a trade from New York. My name is TK Nakagaki from the Buddhist Council of New York. Nyasan Juna, Mali, Tombara, Nyasan Juna, Mali, Tombara, Nyasan Juna, Mali, Tombara, Mushroom Cloud Photograph taken one hour after the first atomic bombing in human history of the gigantic mushroom cloud mushroom over cloud. Hiroshima City Photograph on August 6, 1945. Mushroom cloud in Nagasaki over Hiroshima City. This picture, August taken 6, from the B-29 bomber, is of the mushroom cloud that resulted mushroom from the atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki that exploded 500 meters above ground. Is the fireball the that resulted that resulted expanded and formed a gigantic mushroom-shaped cloud. U.S. Air Force planes, B-29 observation planes, took photographs while circling the mushroom cloud. In an instant, the atomic bomb caused fire to burst up through the ceiling, completely burning the building. However, because the bomb exploded almost directly above here, the main part of the building miraculously withstood the blast. The remaining walls and the exposed iron frame of the dome remain as a symbol of the atomic bombing as what is now called the atomic bomb dome. View south from rooftop in Yamaguchi-cho area. Nothing is left behind to the south of the Yamaguchi-cho area. The gas holders of the Hiroshima gas manufacturing plant, Motojina, and Ninoshima Island, four kilometers from Hiroshima, in Hiroshima Bay can be seen in the distance. View north from Hypocenter. These are the remains of the Shima Hospital, 
located at the hypocenter. To the right is the Tori Gate for the Hiroshima Gokoku Shrine. Inside the Bank of Japan, Hiroshima Branch. Because the third floor shutter was left open, the whole floor was swept away by the blast wind and the fire. Melted Bottles These soy sauce bottles were found at the Kubota Miso and Soy Sauce Main Store. It was stored inside a wooden box when affected, causing it to melt and re-solidify with the nails that were in the box. Yurakami Church in Nagasaki. Yurakami Church was devastated by the atomic bomb. This picture depicts the damage done to the western part of the inside of the church, taken from the eastern side, including a part of the eastern wall. The collapsed tower dome can also be seen in the wreckage. Watch frozen at 8.15 a.m. in Hiroshima. Kengo Kikawa, then aged 59, was on his way to the city to work at a building demolition work site when he was exposed to the atomic bomb. He suffered severe burns on his right arm, to his lower back, and on his head. He died on August 22nd. Kengo always kept this watch on his person as it was a gift from his son. Shiroyama National School in Nagasaki. In front of the crumbled remains of the south wing of Shiroyama National School, present-day Shiroyama Elementary School, is a U.S. soldier standing where a cremation took place. In the back right gas tanks from the Saibu Gas Ohashi plant near present-day prefectural Ohashi Apartments at the Mitsubishi Nagasaki Armory Factory Ohashi plant can be seen. Present-day Nagasaki University Bunkyo Campus. Shinkosen National School Relief Station in Nagasaki. Photograph of a ward in the Shinkosen National School Relief Station. Present-day Municipal Library. Classrooms were used as wards. Sano Shinto Shrine. Photograph of the second Tori Gate of Sano Shinto Shrine, also known as the one-legged Tori Gate. To the right are the camphor trees that survived the atomic bombing. Lunchbox. Shigeru Orimen, a first-year student at the Hiroshima Prefecture, Daini Middle School, was exposed to the atomic bomb and died while working at a building demolition worksite. Early in the morning of August 9th, his mother found his body with this charred black lunchbox clutched under his stomach. Wall clock in Nagasaki. Found in a house near Sano Shinto Shrine, around 800 meters from the hypocenter. This clock was shattered by the blast, stopping the clock right at 11.02 a.m., the moment of the explosion. Japanese Red Cross Society of Hiroshima. Located directly below the hypocenter, the blast left a large dent on the roof of this building. A typhoon the following September left the large puddle in this dent on the roof as seen in this photo. Boy with severe burns. 16-year-old Sumitiru Taniguchi was exposed to the atomic bomb when he was delivering mail by bicycle. Atomic bombed tile in Nagasaki. This tile was exposed to the atomic bomb causing the surface to boil and bubble. This phenomena was confirmed in an experiment where tiles were exposed to heat measuring 1800 degrees Celsius for four seconds. National Defense Uniform Ko Tai Tai, 
a Chinese restaurant employee, was exposed to the atomic bomb when he was taking shelter at the Yurakami Daiichi Hospital. This was the cloth he was wearing at that time. After the atomic bombing, he escaped to the Nishiyama area by himself.
say that the mountain shielded grandma from the bomb? Will she be have survived it and gifted me the song? Family so scattered, so you don't know what is true. Sing it, shadows cast themselves on you. I went to Hiroshima, they sing I shall be released. Floating birds down the river. Like a joyous eulogy, with black in every corner, and their faces wrapped in steel. I was torn and born asunder, and lost the will to feel. Is bleeding through the face. Da 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 I gaze upon the tower as if on a looking glass. Desecrated creation, a peek into the past. And when the ashes settle and the unstruck rhythm rings from the Within me, painted phoenix flaps their wings.
If now I could grant my wish, I'd be to have those wings, those wings just like the birds that fly up in the air. So. Salam persaudaraan Ikatan penyatuan Punyaan kasih Tuhan Tali teguh untuk perhubungan Sesudah sebetul beri
じゃこっちいつえはよ押し入れ聞いちゃえ何をしとるねはよ座布団かぶって下へ隠れさいちょっとやっぱおってですかそりゃおるわいお前がおりんさん言うたらどこじゃろうとわしはおるんじゃけどじゃけんの焦げと表紙もな話がやったらいいんじゃろうか焦げ思いも染め話が何よぐどりぐどり言うとる<笑>はよこっちへ<笑>うわ気よったが<笑><笑>はい、えっ、ー、とプロデューサーの平野涼子です私は2016年に父と暮らせばに出演させていただいたんですけれどもその翌年に東北を一周旅しましてその時に初めて 3.11 の被害にを目の当たりにしてさらに陸前高田市に降り立った時に「父と暮らせば」に書かれてある「アコイラもすっぽり焼け抜けとって」っていう表現が初めて体に腑に落ちた瞬間でもあったんですねでその時ちょうど北朝鮮が何回もあの水爆の実験をしてまして水爆っていうのは原爆の何倍もの被害があっても私はいても立ってもいられなくなってであの原爆の当事者はアメリカと日本の2カ国しかないんです当事者はなのでこの作品をアメリカの人とアメリカで上演したいなと思ってこの企画を立ち上げましたこりゃ大ごとじゃどうしたんだまんじゅうじゃがさっき図書館で木下さんがお前にまんじゅうくれんさったろうがあれまさか潰れてるやせんじゃろうねいけザ・フェイス・オブ・地蔵はとてもユニークな物語で原爆で亡くなったお父さんがある日突然亡霊となって娘の前に恋の応援団長として現れるところからスタートします世界最古の演劇日本の能も必ず亡霊が出てくるんですけどザ・フェイス・オブ・地蔵は日本古来の演劇スタイルが反映されている作品ですそしてこの作品は原爆が背景にありますがコメディスタイルなんですチャランポランなお父さんと実直で真面目な娘の会話劇ですそのやりとりは日本の漫才みたいで2人の掛け合いが面白いんですそして物語の最後娘はこの世からいなくなったお父さんに「ありがとうありました」とお礼を言って幕が閉じますこの物語は父と娘の絆という人間の普遍的なテーマが描かれていますこれでもお前の恋の応援団長として出てきとるんじゃねえのそう見やすはのかんぞ応援団長結局お前も木下さんを吸い取るいうことじゃの互いに一目惚れやんがて相思相愛になるいうことよの見かけはごっつかたそうじゃが中身はえっと甘いお前の心はまんじゅうによう似とる疎外なことはありえん。人を好きになる言うんを、うち自分で自分に固く禁じておるんじゃけん。最初、父と暮らせばの演出をしてみないかと、当時のプロデューサーさんからお声をかけていただいたのがきっかけです。それから三井役の女優さんが出演できなくなって、私が出演することになりました。私のおじいちゃんの本籍が広島ということもあって子どもの頃広島の呉市に遊びに行ってたのを思い出して子どもの頃おばあちゃんは戦争の話をよくしてくれていたんですけどおじいちゃんは私がお願いしても本当に全く話してくれなかったんですねその姿が三江とどこかダブってどんどんのめり込んでいきましたミツエ役で出演した時に原爆についていろいろリサーチをしたんですけど私と同世代のアメリカの人たちは原爆は正義だったのかと疑問を持つ人が多くいることを知ったことが大きな理由の一つだと思いますそして2年前上映の準備をするために初めてニューヨークの土地を訪れたんですけど出
出先でボストンの大学生とたくさん出会ってそのご縁でボストンのアメリカの人から英語を教えてもらってたんですねそしてレッスンをするうちに私がザ・フェイス・オブ・ジーズをアメリカでアメリカの英語者と上演したいということを話したんですそこでアメリカの人は被爆とはどういうことか知りたがっている人もいるんだでも広島に原爆が落ちたことを知っていても長崎に落ちたことは知らない日本とアメリカの原爆に対する情報のギャップを知ったと同時にアメリカの人は純粋に原爆に対して知りたい人も多いんだなって分かってそれはさらに私の背中を押してくれたことの一つですねおいでええー、具合にいったかいのいいかいじゃあコミストのことじゃら木下さん喜んでくれんさったかああじゃあコミスねこれは僕の大好物でありましてそがは言うとられんかったかまだ私とランキー応援団長をなめちゃいけんど飲めかえてどうしたんすっぺーこっぺーごまかし言うちゃいけんでお前どうしても木下さんをすいちゃおらん言いはるつもりかフェイスオブ地蔵をアメリカで一回上演しただけでは意味がないと思っててこの作品を定期的に継続して上演してたくさんの人に認知をしてもらうべきだと考えています特に若い世代の人たちにエデュケーションプログラムとして上演したいと思ってて図書館や学校にアポイントを取り準備を進めてましたしかも今年の夏は戦後75周年という節目の年ということもあったので平和週間にこの作品を上演できるように進めてたし特にボストンでは劇場のブッキング寸前でしたしかしコロナにより予定が白紙となってしまいました<笑>わしの体をかぼうてお前は何度もわしに身についた火を消してくれたのありがとうありましたじゃがそがあなことをしとっちゃ共倒れじゃそれじゃけわしはお前は逃げ言うたお前は嫌じゃ言うて動かんしばらくは逃げ嫌じゃの押し問答よのとうとうとったわシャンポン毛で決めよう言い出した被爆者もご高齢になって他界された人も多い中当時の状況を語れる人が少なくなってきていて今まで以上に想像することが必要な時代になってきていると思いますこの作品の最後娘はお父さんにうちもお父さんと死なにはならんかったんじゃと言いますがお父さんは図書館で働く娘へ人間の悲しかったこと楽しかったことそれを伝えるのがお前の仕事じゃろうがと言います私は演劇も同じだと思うんです私たちが過ごしてきた戦争のない時代を絶やさないためには被爆者が語り継いでくれたことを次の世代へ何世代にもわたってバトンを渡す必要があると思います私は一人の日本人としてもう二度と広島や長崎と同じようなことが世界中で起こってほしくないのでまず原爆というものを知ってほしいんです原爆を落とした落とされたというデリケートなものを乗り越えてこの作品が持つ親子の絆という普遍的なテーマをアメリカの人とやることによってさらにピースフルに上演できると私は確信していますそれはアメリカと日本でしかできないことだと思いますおいじゃけ
お前はわしに生かされとる王者は我が名の上わかるがまっこと何万もあったっちゅうことを覚えてもらうために生かされとるんじゃお前の勤めとる図書館もそげなことを伝えとるところじゃないんだ人間の悲しかったこと楽しかったことそれを伝えるんがお前の仕事じゃろうがそいがわからんようならもうお前のようなアホタレのバカタレには頼らん他の誰かを代わりに出してくれや他の誰かをわしの孫じゃがひ孫じゃが My name is Michi Takeuchi, a chairperson of New York Hiroshima Kai Association. I'm going to read peace declaration by Mayor Matsui of Hiroshima. Peace declaration, August 6, 2020. On August 6, 1945, a single atomic bomb destroyed our city. Rumor at that time had it that nothing will grow here for 75 years. And yet, Hiroshima recovered, becoming a symbol of peace visited by millions from around the world. Humanity struggles now against a new threat, the novel coronavirus. However, with what we have learned from the tragedies of the past, we should be able to overcome this threat. When the 1918 flu pandemic attacked a century ago, it took tens of millions of lives and terrorized the world because nations fighting World War I were, were unable to meet the threat together. A subsequent upsurge in nationalism led to World War II and the atomic bombings. We must never allow this painful past to repeat itself. Civil society must reject self-centered nationalism and unite against all threats. The day after the atomic bombing, a young boy of 13 saw victims lying in rows on the bridge. Many were injured, many had breast their last, most were burned, their skin hanging off, many were begging, water, give me water. Long after the horrifying experience, the man asserts, fighting happens when people think only of themselves or their own countries. Last November, when Pope Francis visited our city. He left us with a powerful message. To remember, to journey together, to protect. These are three moral imperatives. Ogata Sadako, as UN High Commissioner for Refugees, worked passionately to assist those in need she spoke from experience when she said, the important thing is to save the lives of, of those who are suffering. No country can live in peace alone. 
the world is connected. The messages urge us to unite against threats to humanity and avoid repeating our tragic past. Hiroshima is what it is today because our predecessors cared about each other. They stood together through their ordeal. Visitors from other countries leave the Peace Memorial Museum with comments like, now we see this tragedy as our own. And this is a lesson for the future of humanity. Hiroshima considers it our duty to build in civil society a consensus that people of the world must unite to achieve nuclear weapons abolition and lasting world peace. Turning to the United Nations, the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, NPT, which went into effect 50 years ago, and the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, TPNW, adopted three years ago, are both critical to eliminating nuclear weapons. They comprise a framework that we must pass on to future generations, yet their future is opaque. Now more than ever, world leaders must strengthen their determination to make this framework function effectively. This is precisely why I urge them to visit Hiroshima and deepen their understanding of the atomic bombing. I further urge them to invest fully in the MPT review conference. They must negotiate in good faith toward nuclear disarmament as stipulated by the MPT and continue constructive, constructive dialogue toward a security system free from reliance of nuclear weapons. To enhance its role as mediator between the nuclear weapon and non-nuclear weapon states, I ask the Japanese government to heed the appeal of the hibakusha that it sign and ratify and become a party to the TPNW. As the only nation to suffer a nuclear attack, Japan must persuade the global public to unite with the spirit of Hiroshima. I further demand more generous assistance for the hibakusha, whose average age exceeds 83, and the many others whose daily lives are still plagued by suffering due to the harmful effects of radiation on their minds and bodies. And once more, I demand the political decision to expand the black rain areas. At this peace memorial ceremony, marking 75 years since the bombing, we offer heartfelt prayers for the peaceful repose of the souls of the atomic bomb victims. Together with Nagasaki and like-minded people around the world, we pledge to do everything in our power to abolish nuclear weapons and open a path to genuine and lasting world peace.
Welcome again to the Interfaith Peace Gathering for Hiroshima on this, the 75th anniversary of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bombing, an annual peace ceremony and a memorial service for atomic bombing victims. Uh, the final words you were hearing were read by Michi Takeuchi, um, who is a um, uh, Habakashu, and she is with the Hiroshima uh, Kai Society in New York. Um, and she was reading from um, the Hiroshima mayor, Azumi Matsui. Um, and that followed um, a long and beautiful, beautiful program um, that was just so expressive. The, um, the exhibit exhibit you saw was the atomic bomb exhibition. Um, this was from the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum and the Nagasaki Peace Memorial Museum. Those were the, the photos that you were seeing. Um, and then there were the Hiroshima Seven Rivers Photo Club. Uh, and then there were the interfaith performances were just um, uh, moving and extraordinary. You had uh, Tiru Song, um, and then there was the Bell Tower for Hiroshima. Um, Ave Maria, which was a dance. And then there was the uh, wings, where's that on my sheet here? The wings fly, let me see. I'm not finding it, but it was magnificent. I was, a hundred voices, one heart. It was just absolutely extraordinary. Um, uh, yes, I think I've named most, the, oh, and the play, the play for Jizo. Um, which was interesting on so many levels and just so moving in terms of understanding. Uh, so um, that was just, and so many people went into um, creating this as a program. I want to once again say that this was organized um, by TK Nakagaki, Reverend TK Nakagaki, who has been uh, organizing this event for 27 years uh, um, in the U.S. And um, uh, this was also partnered with the Interfaith Center of New York, the Buddhist Council of New York, World Yoga Community, Interfaith Center of the United States of America, and Engage Asia. Um, and uh, there will be another program on uh, August 8th, uh, August 9th in Japan, um, uh, again, the second bombing. So uh, that's... TK, take it. <laughs> it's just amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Every all the energy that's put in and the tech, the technical support and the just it's so moving to be a part of something that's creating peace. This is and I just I want to just for my part in saying this is in 1985, uh, Gorbachev and Reagan came together and there was the um, the, pr the principle at the summit. And the, the words were are very simple. Um, uh, what is it? N a nuclear war cannot be won and must never be fought. And um, we need to reaffirm this as a summit as the voices are coming forth and this is the 75th year, it can't fade uh, from memory. So, you know, let us take in the energy of what we were learning and take in the voices that are still alive and, and carry forth and reaffirm, you know, that this is the truth. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Kalata. Uh, so there'll be a, a, a master of ceremony today. And also you're reading the, uh, you know, the um, exhibition part of the thing. So, so I very really appreciate uh, your contributing to this one. And so I'm uh, actually very grateful, although, you know, we have some technical difficulties. I mean, this is uh, like uh, our life. You know? <laughs> you, you know? <laughs> certain things, we plan everything, but yet, you know, life could be changed, you know, so that's probably the way that I learned too. Uh, technology is, of course, reliable, but then sometimes, of course, not, but yet you can find a way to overcome somehow. And uh, so I hope uh, if you, some people probably missed this one because uh, we changed the uh, channel, but I hope they will come back and to see, because this will be on a, you know, YouTube channel later on, so you can watch it again. And so I appreciate very much if you can do that. And um, today, especially, um, we have uh, the, the day of uh, August 6th, it's uh, Hiroshima Day. And uh, so, so actually when we are doing this in Japan, the, you know, 
the people are gathering together. So kind of feel the oneness or feel the other part of the country, I'm sure they will be joining as well. So, so in a way, although it looks like we're doing separately, but yet this is all connected. And then the, we are not the only one who organized this, different group organized at the same time. But then I think it's nice that we, you know, each of us can do the best that we can so that the, those energy could be come together and then the create uh, such, uh, what do you call it, the atmosphere or feeling or energy, whatever you call it. And uh, so that bring, you know, peace, more peaceful world together. So I think uh, each one can be, you know, maybe uh, which we have a little limited capacity that ourselves, but yet, you know, we can expand it and then everybody coming together, that's the most important part of it. And uh, some some gathering might be big, some gathering might be small, and uh, but yet it doesn't really matter. And so as long as you have the energy of, you know, extended the love and compassion and peace, that, that's what it, it counts. And so I wanted to thank everyone who joining today and uh, and then again, sorry that who missed this part as well. And uh, so we have a couple more because this year is a special year of the 75th anniversary. So that's why we decided to do four different events. So so actually two for Hiroshima, two for Nagasaki, and uh, one part is the uh, this like this today that we did, <clears throat> and uh, the other part will be the concert and prayer and also the greetings from the uh, some representative like the mayor of Hiroshima who will be coming up tomorrow actually for our events. I mean, tonight in Japan now, I guess, <laughs> evening of August 6th. And uh, that will be held at uh, Kokusai Kaigijo International Conference Hall in Himawari. That's in, uh, inside of the Peace Park. So. So, uh, so hope uh, if you can join us, that'll be great. And uh, then later, uh, also 8th, August 8th and 9th. Uh, 8th, 9th is a, a Nagasaki atomic bomb was dropped uh, 11.02 a.m. on August 9th, which is equivalent to 10.02 uh, p.m on August 8th. So we will have another events like this. Uh, so uh, so please join us. So we, again, three three more times so you have a chance. And so at least I uh, hope you can join one. Or if you like, join all of them, that would be great too. But then that's the only thing but we have, but yet that should continue. So which means we will bring those energy to your daily life. And I hope you will include those uh, peace uh, in your daily practice. Like, so I would suggest something like, you know, make a rhythm every week, you decide one day to do something for peace. And very simple. It doesn't have to be, you know, big peace, kind of a world peace, but rather the world is not just a world of outside, but the world of yourself. So I hope you can do that too. So anyway, thank you very much. And uh, anniversary is uh, something that not necessarily happy, but yet the peace, I mean, the Hiroshima become a symbol of the peace nowadays, which is actually really sadness changed to that peace. So I think that the transformation is a very, very essential and crucial that we all do. So, so uh, yeah, peace to you all. And uh, we'll conclude with a little short film, uh, kind of putting together uh, what we have done in the, uh, in the past, and then so that lead to the future. So enjoy the uh, short presentation as the end of today's uh, uh, peace gathering. Thank you. <laughs>